what's going on guys um as you can see here i'm recording this on september 21st uh disregard the, the sound in the background but um this is another episode of binary essentials and kind of an update also so if you see this you might it might have relevance to the other channel i mean the other segments that i do on my channel um so this is binary essentials uh, but I do other things, uh, other segments on my channel. If you just watch my binary essentials, um, crypto analysis, I, I guess, of the of whenever I'm doing a video, um, then please let me know so I can, can know what. You, or if you follow other segments of my uh, channels, my channel. Then please let me know about that. You know, I'm just curious. But uh, as you can see here, um, I'm checking the changes, the big changes uh, in the last 24 hours, and uh, a lot of unknowns. But Counterparty is very surprisingly up there. There's also uh, Peer Plays, which I did research on it. It's very interesting. It has something to do with the uh, with BitShares, the BitShares platform. And uh, the gaming aspect of of uh, crypto. So there's various coins that uh, various currencies that already do this. Digital currencies that already have gaming capabilities, and you know you can use that as in in game currency, um, as well as you can trade it for real uh, Bitcoin and other stuff like that. So there's not, they're not the only ones in town, but they're the ones that are the most uh, volume pretty much uh, in the last few days, uh, last few months actually, I think month and a half that I can think of that I've seen. Um, so there's there's a lot a lot of movement in the market right now. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a quiet period, but uh, we got Factum. Factum really going up. Uh, I don't. I wasn't keeping up too much with Factum, but I know they were doing a lot of of, of uh, campaigns to raise some money in China a few months back, and uh, I haven't really uh, seen anything. If I, I think they did get raise the money that they were going for, or even probably more, so it's probably the reason why they're doing this large uh, breakout. So uh, at this moment, I don't. I have to do more research to see if it's a good uh, entry point right now. Um, but we can check. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Just I don't know why I was doing that. We can check real quick, right? Might as well. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, my internet is so slow right now. See in the last two months, we see a definite, definite pickup over time. This is the last two months. Uh, the year is very relevant when you look at this chart. See, as you can see here, it was a very low point right here, and then it really really started skyrocketing at this point uh, which was on May 9th and it's it can it did go down again but it was a new bottom as you can see here and it's just peaked again pretty high in uh, around the August 29th I guess so it's been dipping again but also going up again it could pass this. It could pass this. It, it could get to another uh, plateau. Um, it's looking at a more, more day to day. And as you see here, it's it's hovering a good pace here. Let's go even closer. Uh, let's go closer here. And uh, as a Today, there's a little dip down. There's a little shot down, but it has been steadily 
as of right now. I just want to see that. It's been going up a little right now. Um, let's see what else that I want to look at real quick. Let's check out solar. Solar coins um, do like their the, their uh, market as well as you can see here. I'm not going to show you all the charts. I just wanted to, to focus on. But solar coins very easy to store. So that's why I'm really enjoying it, and uh, I do like the concept that's going behind it. So hopefully it starts to really take off. But it has been going up lately, and um, you can do your own research on the concept. Um, I don't want. I don't. I probably would do a whole video about it, but uh, it's really, really creative. Um, so, and I like to to support really innovative uh, projects. So as you can see here, it's, it has gone down a little over the year. The highest peak was in, uh, I guess, June 10th. That was probably one of the higher peaks of, of most recent um, in a year's time. I can go into all, let's go all, let's see here. So there's been, there's been some movement in that, in that sec, look how dead it was for a little bit so that's good you want to see this obviously you want to see that um, and from a closer view to say a day right now you see it yeah there's there's some movement it's a little down right now but it's it, it is coming back up it is it looks like it's coming back up right now the moment so you can you can store a uh, solar coin on coin uh, it is a I believe it's a stake coin but you can't so you can't stake it on your coin me wallet but you can stake it on your PC uh, you know I guess PC QT wallet um, I don't think they have a besides coin me I don't think they have any other uh, wallet on the market Uh, on the mobile market, um, Dash is pretty easy to store on CoinMe as well. Let's check out the, you know, Dash is, they have very good potential. So I'm not surprised that they're this high. Um, to be honest with you, I think um, they're a little undervalued, but that's my opinion. So there's definitely a, a lot of attention on dash and it's really really looking up I don't know if this is the best time to, to entry I would I would advise against it because it's really going up it's not it's not stopping really right now um, I do like their concept too so check out their uh, community they have a lot of material out um, you could also uh, find Amanda by uh, Amanda by sorry Amanda B Johnson I believe that's her name. Uh, she's she has a channel on YouTube. Um, she's pretty good. She gives you a, a huge. She's very uh, into Dash, and she can really uh, tell you a lot about it. So uh, I'll leave a link to her channel. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have. Sorry about the noise, the background noise. Um, live in the ghetto. Living in the ghetto. Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, new bits. Surprisingly, it came back up to where it's supposed to be. It's actually a little higher than usual. I don't own any at the moment, but I do enjoy their concept, and I think people should look into them. And they're, I mean, they're getting. Uh, pretty popular. I believe they're gonna start doing um, different currency-based uh, fiat currency-based digitally, uh, which is like China's money or European money, um, Euro money, uh, UK's money. Anybody's money that's out there that you're interested in, uh, they're gonna start doing that um, hopefully soon. Cause it's 
I mean, their concept is pretty easy. Um, it seems to work for a little bit. There was some downside, uh, but you know, it's the concept is new and we're testing the waters out. But I'm kind of enjoying the the latency uh, aspect of it. But they might fix that over time. Uh, but we can we can really uh, test the waters and and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's very technical. But you can check them out. Um, but it does make it simple to uh, get digital based uh, based currencies that work that are fiat as well. If you know what I mean, I'm sorry if I'm mixing up my words. What I meant to say was fiat currency that can be digitalizedly owned in this in this in this form, in the in their platform. But because uh, you could you could easily store our economy on economy wallets. I mean, uh, neo bits on economy wallets. Sorry, ton test. The the words are not coming out right now. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, well. I'm running low on minutes. Um, I want, but I, I like that I'm showing you the charts and the different coins. If you guys want to know more about certain uh, crypto, let me know. I'll do my research. If you want to just me to just do one video of a particular coin or currency, uh, if I have the time, I can do the video for you. Just let me know. see here syscoin really I wouldn't say they're that interesting but they have been get getting a lot of interest lately and they're very easy to store so definitely you know look into that they're also on coin me bitbay bitbay I enjoy that immensely you should really look into it it's very underrated uh, currency I do own a lot of it. I'm a little biased, but I'm I'm just letting you know disclaimer. I do own a lot of it, um, but I really enjoy the the community. I enjoy the uh, aspect of the the, the the concept. Everything about this is pretty good. So um, check it out. Definitely, I believe it's underrated. Um, just looking through my chart. I I have to look through this. I haven't looked through it in a while through their charts, uh, but looks like they're doing a lot better than they usually are, so that's good. Let's see, there is some movement going on. Sorry, guys, the background. Sorry about the background. I can't control that. Can't control that. I don't know what's going on. They're fucking having a war outside. So, I'm trying to post this as soon as possible. And BitBay is, I mean, I've had very few problems with BitBay. They're they're a little confusing to get some of the process, but it's it's a really uh, innovative project, and I've been. Uh, experimenting with what, uh, what they have and it's been going pretty good I'm enjoying it enjoying the experiment Let's see bit shares definitely look out for that man it's it's hell hell underrated uh, currency right there cryptocurrency um, so hope you enjoy this video let me know if you want any other type of crypto related videos out there uh, stay tuned for other videos in this channel that are segmentally organized hopefully you know you can people can tell the difference especially by titles you can tell the difference by title so look for the titles look for what video you want to see and you'll you'll be on the right track I'm gonna start to try to do them you know more organized so uh, so people won't get confused. All right, guys. I'll see you later.